Dude, I could stay awake with you and slap your little fucking and slap your fucking little cock around if you want. But here's the thing, dude. Nobody fucking wants you. You don't need to run around upstairs. We've done that for three fucking years, and I'm like gone next week. Okay, I'm like gone in a week. <laughs> so you could run around for the next week if you want. It's not gonna change anything. Here's the thing with you though, is that everybody's tired of you forcing yourself on them. You, know? you forcing yourself on me. You forcing yourself on the people I fucking know. You forcing yourself on a conversation that I'm having with my mother when I'm in here alone with her. We're all tired of that. It's kind of rapey. And you're kind of the last motherfucker I'd ever be caught dead with if I was the loneliest motherfucker in the world simply because you're so fucking needy. Your need to be fucking seen and to be the king of annoyance is so paramount that you repulse every motherfucker around you. That's why you don't have any friends. That's why nobody ever comes here for you calls because you're the most annoying motherfucker alive and your neediness sucks the life out of fucking everyone. Do you really think my girls or my friends or me would be caught dead with you? At the level of life suckage you take from people, the life suckage that you that you give is just so overwhelming. How do you? It's like I'm surprised your parents didn't throw you the fuck out into the world and just be like, "Be gone, motherfucking vultures! You suck so much life force. You suck altogether, but the way you suck life force is just is just amazing. It's like I don't want to know you. The people I'm knowing don't want to know you, obviously. We can all see it from afar. We don't want to get too close to it. I'm like 10 feet away. You don't need to run around with the fucking dog. We know you're a fucking baby. We know you're terrified of the police. And I'll call them again (laughs) until you get it fucking right. I'm not your friend. Go play with your fucking retarded drums in the bag, your one kick drum, and go make a kick drum beat and make sure you do it all fucking night and make sure it sucks mad shit. Okay, make sure you go on the web and tell everybody you're related to popular people that you're really not. And, and because you ain't got a musical bone in your body or a rhythmic bone. I've seen your gay dances and I seen and I hear your gay beats and it's ridiculous, dude. There's more to drums than a kick drum. So why don't you go do that? Why don't you concentrate on that? Becoming the best you could be. Not sucking the life force out of everyone else. I'm trying to watch, trying to listen to my Helter Skelter book. I've already had a action-packed, asshole fucking day with you. Would you dig in my ass? And all I can smell is your stank cigar and listen to you run around. And it's like, you need to change your style. You know what I'm saying? Change it for yourself, like I said, because your future doesn't look too bright. Who the fuck's going to want to hang around with a, a motherfucker who never leaves the house, burning those nasty ass cigars, making all kinds of fucking noise well into the morning? Not even a joyful noise, just total straight up noise. (laughs) To the point where the little girls are asking, what the fuck was that? Yeah, you're not good at it. You're not good at making noise. You're not good at being annoying. You're not good at anything. Why don't you find a book (laughs) or find a television program to get lost in? You don't need to annoy every motherfucker around you. You annoy the whole fucking house and the whole fucking neighborhood is sick of the fucking noise that comes from here. When I'm the musician, I should be making noise, but I don't, and I give you the chance to, and all you want to do is run around and jerk me off. Go. (laughs) Here, take the spotlight, but go over there. Go in your other room. I'm sick of you fixating on every room I go to and making me move from room to room to room. Pick a fucking room and stay in it. I mean, how can anybody live with you? You're all up everyone's ass 24-7. I'm not your fucking friend. You're not my kid. I'm not... You're, you're not my responsibility. Focus on another motherfucker. The time we've had it has fortunately come to a close, and I'm fucking out of here. See ya. Go run around elsewhere.